Hey everyone, let's create some crafting recipes together and add them to a new talent tree that is going to be assigned to the refining skill. Because as you can see right now, if I go to my skill book and click on refining, I have nothing here, no talent trees, nothing. And if I click on the crafting station, there is also no recipes showed here. So let's change that. We go to the uh, RPG Builder editor, as always. And here you see that we have a few recipes already existing. In this case, copper bar, red cloth, and wolf laser. We will make three new ones together. The, the first uh, new one is going to be called bear laser. It's basically a superior version of the wolf one. This is going to be from the refining skill, and the crafting station is going to be a furnace. It doesn't make sense, of course, to use a furnace for uh, crafting laser, but I do what I can with the assets I have and the icons, etc. This is going to reward three experience instead of one. And uh, it's going to craft, of course, the bear laser. It, uh, it's going to have 100% chance to craft it. And it's going to require two bear hides. And you can now save that. New one is going to be blue cloth. So we assign the icon. And this one is going to cost one to unlock. It's going to do also three experience, one second to craft. And it's going to craft the blue cloth. Blue flower, two of them, and that's it. And the last one is going to be the iron bar. So, um, we can assign the iron bar here. And iron ore. And that's it. Perfect. So, um, the way these recipes will be possible for us to learn by our character is if we assign them to a new talent tree. Or in this case, it's not really a talent tree, but more like a crafting recipe tree. So let's create the uh, refining refining tree. It's going to use the refining points, which are I'm going to show you right now. Uh, refining points are just a type of tree points, and you see that every time that the refining skills gain one level, we get one refining points, and it also starts at one point. So we can, you know right away choose what type of uh, material we want to learn and, and so on. So going back to the refining tree and actually creating it now. So uh, we will make, we will add the six recipes starting with the wolf laser, which is going to be on the first tier at the middle. And then the um, bear laser. Second tier, also middle. And this one is going to require one point to be spent in this tree, as well as the wolf uh, laser recipe to be known. So we first need to learn this recipe and then we can learn the bear one. Now let's do the cloth. And the second cloth, the blue one. This one also is going to require one point, and this time it's going to require the red cloth recipe. Perfect. Now um, let's do the bars. So copper bar and iron bar. And it's going to require, of course, the copper bar to be known. And that's it. We can now save that, go to our refining skill, and add a new talent tree. And of course, we will add the new talent tree we just created. And that's it. Now we can go in game.
And here you see that we, if we open that, we still don't have any recipes here because we didn't learn them yet. But if I go to my skill book this time and open refining, you see that we now have a refining talent tree. And here, if we open it, we have all our recipes. So we have the gray cloth, blue cloth, wolf laser, bear laser, copper bar, iron bar. So that's great. We can choose to spend a point on uh, whatever we want. But we have, you know, we only have one right now. So we have to pick and uh, I'm going to go for the laser one. So I could also, you know, um, go for something else. But in this video, I'm going to show you um, the laser. So remember that for the uh, laser, we need some um, wolf height. So I'm going to give myself some of these. Let's say maybe six. So we have six now. And if we open the um, furnace crafting station and we see the crafting panel now, we see that we now have the wolf laser and a recipe. And it's showing us, you know, the component required and what it's going to craft. And we can now decide to craft it. And as you can see, every time we craft one, we get some experience. So here we have um, one point of experience out of three. And again, so now we crafted all the um, laser. We don't have any height anymore. And we are now refining level two. And as you can see, we just gained a new point because we leveled up. So um, I could learn the bear laser now. And you see the line in between is now yellow because we met the requirements. So now we have the bear laser and the wolf laser in our crafting recipe book. And I'm going to give myself some uh, bear heights. And you see that now this is craftable. And we craft a few of them. Great. And now the refining is level four. And we, of course, have some new points to spend. So we could, you know, learn the copper bar and the iron bar and so on so that's it uh, that's how you create your crafting recipes um that's how you add them to your talent trees and crafting trees you see as you can see here of course these trees could be very very deep uh they could have many requirements and stuff like this we kept it very simple for this video but um you can imagine the amount of depth you can have because when you go here in talent trees you see all the requirement type we have. We could require some quests, some NPC kills, some bonuses, or like race specific, like many, many, many different things. Um, as well as for the recipes, we kept it simple, but it could require as many, uh, many components as you want, uh, whatever counts, and it could also have chances to craft uh, some extra items, maybe like 5% chance to craft an extra item or whatever. So yeah, that's pretty much it. And you see that um, we could easily learn those recipes. They were automatically added to the list and we could now craft them and get experience from it. So this video covered quite a few modules um, together. So I hope it was useful. Thank you for watching and see you in the next one.